Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining me here today. So let's see. Let's get started to this new uh, awesome live streaming. I hope that you guys are doing very well. And yeah, it's so sad to hear that, you know, the queen of the road basically has passed away. You know, it's so sad. So you guys from UK, uh, you know, say my condolences. So I just want to say a big hello to everybody, you know, around the road. If you don't know me, I'm Jonathan and basically I do tutorials using Affinity Designer where I teach you how you can create illustration, how you can do everything using Affinity basically. So uh, let me know please on the chat if everything is working perfectly, okay? It's going to be important. So uh, today I spent all the day, I need to be honest with you, all the day basically uh, fixing and, you know, uh, adjusting some things that I could make this stream more interesting to you guys. Let's see here. Oh, we have Down Singer Host. Hello, Ahinze, guys. Uh, Rene. So it's so nice. So <laughs> I can just click and see you guys, what you guys um, display here below. Oh, so cool, my friend. <laughs> I spent all my day to do that, but it's worthy. It's worthy. Oh, here is Kina. Hello, Kina. So, yeah. Uh, today we're going to keep things simple right I want to let me see here if the audio is too loud just a second let me because I'm hearing a music here so perhaps you guys will listen as well so if you don't know what the club is let me show you of course I like to show you because it's the only way that I can get support in order to build even more tutorials bring a lot of things for you all right so um, before I show you the club I've been working in some let's say Images. I will show you my screen right now. Oh, good. So far, so good. Um, where I've just, you know, uh, I brought my characters that I made on the Vectorize since the Vectober, some challenges, tutorials. And, you know, this is just, uh, I think, 10%. Only, ah, Nikki's here. Hello, Nikki. Uh, this is just 10% of what we have created on the Vectorize Club. You know, when I see when I was doing that, I, I got very proud and I almost cried, you know, because my history, you know, my life of showing you tutorials is here, you know, in these images. And there are much more than this, of course. And I just separ separated the characters. Uh, and w when I look at each one, it has one feeling that I, I had in that time. Each, each string that I do, there is a, a feeling that I have in that moment. Some, some days I don't have a perfect day. Some days I have a bad day. I share here, you know, I share the way that uh, I feel. You guys, you guys that know me, you guys from the Vectorize or if you're not, you notice if I'm happy or not. <laughs> so, but even if I'm not happy, I will stay here. And I think this is the most important thing for me because this show how committed I am with you guys. And this makes me very, very happy. All right. This makes me very happy. And the one that I feel like most, uh, here's Vela. Hello, Vela. Um, is the dragon. I love this dragon so much. Oh my gosh. I really love it. I, I love, I love it. All right. But this dragon here, when I did, I, I said, my gosh, this dragon is so nice. <laughs> so, and if you, of course, if you have watched a lot of my lessons and I, I want to, you know, thank you so much, my friend. I want to meet you someday. I want to pay a beer for you. I want to, you know, give you <laughs> some piece of cake. I don't know. I want to do my best because just in case that, you know, you have been watching me here during these months, weeks, years, it makes me very happy, you know, because I feel like, oh, hey, I, I'm, I'm changing. I, I'm, I'm being nice for people okay ah hello yeah exactly my patience to be here I think is the most important thing you know it, it's not or look it's not in at all is that not at all about money because you know here I have ah, less than 20 people watch me I'm not I don't I don't have thousands of you know people watch me all right so I think is more patient so um, right now I'll share with you the iPad screen. We are gonna continue the, the not tutorial. All right, I'm showing you my process, and of course, uh, it's up to you because the thing that is important here is that you create in your style, in your art style. Okay, 
So if you have lost, if you have missed the past lesson, watch uh, that lesson after this one. All right, you don't need to stop here and watch there right now, but stay here with me, okay? Because it's gonna be important. I'm gonna cover here how I will render this. As I like to to tell you, one thing that is extremely important when you are creating, it is to create a nice idea and then you render later. I want to show you uh, from the telegram. Ah, I'll show you later, okay? Because I, do, I want to finish this uh, as soon as possible. I want to finish this project today, okay? Ah, thank you, and <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, look, I will start here, my friend. Thank you so much, Randy. Look, uh, the design that we are creating is from Yugit Art. All right, you can follow her in this Instagram link. Okay, Yugit Art. Oh, don't forget the T. <laughs> so there we go. Um, the nice thing that you can bring the elements based in what you feel. You don't need to follow 100%. Uh, you know exactly the hairstyle. No, no, you don't need. You just need to be yourself. Okay, um, guys, I will start to vector already the shape that it is missing, right? We have created the most important one. So right now, I will stick here with the wardrobes. I think it's wardrobe, I don't know. So I will just insert a rectangle. Look, a rectangle, let me take a look again. Oh, there are some divisions here. I, I'm thinking that I don't need to do that because I don't want to add a lot of elements here, right? So right now, duplicate. Once you once you add a rectangle, you just need to duplicate. Oh, duplicate, and things become so easier, so easier. Even for circles, you can oh, re resize, resize, okay, oh, resize. If you want to make the circle, my friend, it's very easy. Corner two, and then you go, you do this. Ah, oh, look, nice, nice and clean. Ah, oh, but I wanna, I want to. Make the corner here round. Uh, my friend, up to you. Oh, look, I'm doing this already. All right. Of course, there is a, a shape here below, so I will make this below. Good, so far so good. This will be in the middle, okay, nice. So what happened here is that I inserted this shape just to have the line, so I can change the, the, the color here. Ah, no, 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 no worries. I, I just click here now in what is being displayed. So don't worry, you guys. You, you can you know, say things that you want. Basically, I select what is displaying here, right? So, yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, I got worried about, oh my gosh, if say, if some people, bad people come to my life and then they say some bad things. Of course, not, uh, I don't want to make <laughs> a place that's warmful to you guys so I want to make something you know nice I, I really care about you know the club the security of you guys so that's why I've placed some roles on the telegram club because of course um, you know in, in this world you need to be careful or of course with the links that you click things like that Ah, here we go. And then I will just add, uh, I mean, using the paint tool, right? A paint tool, I will add a potion. Things become so, you know, so smooth here. And then I'll create this guy here, a potion, okay? Ah, you can take a look on, on references as well, if you want. Uh, there is a sort of bottle. I can add more bottles here. You can add a bottle. There is a nice technique that you can apply. I will show you right now, okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> Let me, oh, I'm drinking coffee, right? So probably I will get very anxious because coffee make, make, make me feel very anxious. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, I will duplicate this rectangle right now, okay? And what I'm gonna do, guys, pay attention, right? This is gonna be very nice for you. We have a rectangle, and if you want to make these modifications, it's gonna be very nice. I will insert a node in, in the middle, and then I'll select the both sides. Both sides selected by dragging, cool. And then I'll click in this icon. And then you can 
uh, with two fingers you can do this look you can model you can my friend look at how nice is this oh, I'm teaching right now you have this the shape right oh, here okay nice so uh, basically what you do it is uh, create the nodes okay in parallel so they need to be aligned at least and then you let me make this is yeah and then you select and click here this icon because you, you can transform them like that look how nice it is you see nice my friend i i teach you always new things if you are if you are if you are already familiar if you are you know professional my friend you are great but i need to help beginners you know that <laughs> so let's see here i can i make it like this fine or right? make a bit rounded perhaps yeah so we have some potions here you can group oh you can group right now i can group here I'll click in this icon i truly hope in my heart <laughs> that affinity will bring some kind of shortcuts uh, you know that can be displayed so i truly hope here we go i will leave it just like that i think that it's cool um uh, here the plant the plant can see i want to make this more organic and more simple okay to do that i will look i will do this i use the paint tool and then i will insert again press the x again paint tool oh, make sure to remove the use fill i don't want to have use fill you know why why i don't want to use use fill because i don't want to use fill <laughs> because it's going to Ah, to add the the middle area i don't want that i just want the curve for me curve is enough okay oh, that's fine let's see who oh my friend ah thank you you are very welcome you are very welcome my friend really so this is a, a very great opportunity you know for you guys to to you know be a part of the vectorize you know as I, as I tell to most of my subscribers on here on YouTube, um, the vectorize, you know, for me, it is for everybody, you know, it's for everybody. There we go. I will resize a little bit. And then, can you see this, these curves that I did so far? I will select the null. And in the width, the width you can control over here. You need to make it selected, right? Let me just adjust a little bit here. Oh, yeah, better. I will do this. You will see this panel curve, and then you can simply do this. Look how nice it is. You can control the plant and make it very organic. After that, you can do this. Look, you can move the node a little bit to not make very, let's say, so stiff okay yeah, yeah so if you have a question all right please um type <laughs> you can type in biggie you know in big letters uh here oh check is back i will <laughs> so there you go yeah so far so good Now I will I will keep in focus just in the vector, right? Don't oh, look, you guys. I need to tell you this. Don't uh, lose yourself on the details or the colors at this stage. Focus just on the shapes. We are just doing the shapes, all right? Because later, after everything is gonna be easier. So far, easier. Ah, the plant is here. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? My friend, you, you are the best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alcatraz. Uh, I will stop here. Just say, um, you know, how happy I am, you know, uh, with this support that you have made. Thank you so much. In very deep, you know, inside of my heart. Thank you. I, I, I'm a bit shy, so that's why I, I don't say, I don't know, I don't know how to say, 
uh, thank you, you know, in a very nice way. Sorry, <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Get back on here, my friend. Look, I will create some rectangles just to make these bricks. Oh, duplicate. My friend, save your time, right? Save your time. Time is important. Life is short. There we go. Oh, some bricks here. There we go. And I want to make this organic, right? Because can you see that it is it is not it is very Oh, look. I don't like to create design that it is very very solid like this for this kind of art style, right? I want to make something more organic. To do to to make this better, I will select all the uh I will select all the the curves, all right? And then I will do this. I will insert and break these guys here, the outline, and make this more organic, okay? You can create some nodes here and do that. And of course, do not make all equal. You can make this technique. You can flip, flip. You can change here the stroke, okay? Just like this, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, changing one by one. You have you need to have patience, all right? Just a bit. Ah, it's fine. How the bricks we can make this with rounded corners. Let's see how this will perform. Select all the rectangles that we got here. Uh, you can do this technique if you want. You can click, select all the rectangles, click here below, and then look, my friend. Look, my friend. Can you see? You make this with round. You can make even this. I got here a nice effect. This one as well. L my friend, look at this. What am I gonna do? We have this result so far. Nice. But you decide, all right? You will decide what is best for you in your design. I will stick with this one, but some of it. Oh, I can change some of it here. I will make some kind of, you know, there is a, ah, there is no frame here, right? But I will add some sort of frame. Let's see. Oh, I will just add here, here. Oh, look, I will do rectangle and then, ah, can you see? I will duplicate, resize. Oh, yeah, how nice it is. I have a frame. I will group this. It's grouped. Make sure always. Always to group your things. It's like when you are organizing your, your house. Your, you know, things. So, it's so far easier to work when things are organized. That's why I'm just organizing them. And as far as I go here, things become... You know, for me, like I said to my students uh, vector it is very very easy to work with very easy in the beginning it can be hard because each time when you insert new objects it's hard to manage but you know relax relax and then I uh, will group these guys so I mean just select by swiping all right this is what we are, you are seeing Ah, dude, use <laughs> use this option. It's very nice, the corner option. I'm using a lot in my designs. I'm pretty using a lot. Because instead of, imagine, imagine this, guys. Imagine if you vector a thing here, and then you, you do this by dragging. I don't drag. If, if you see me dragging like this, you will never see me dragging. Uh, you can ask two people here. You can ask two people if somebody has seen me, you know, vectorizing but with paint tool by dragging. I don't use this at all, you know. So there you go. I will insert more. Uh, I need to be a bit fast, just a bit. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, the plant. I think I can make the plant a bit bigger. Let's now focus on the adjustments. Make, make it bigger, bigger, and there you go. Let me click here on back because when you click to back, it, it's refresh, you know, uh, it's save basically. Uh, now, I will insert the the ground because 
you know there is a ground that I need to insert to below uh, rectangle oh so far since I started this string I just used the rectangle <laughs> just a rectangle right In everything here everything a rectangle and curve just like that so uh, right now I want to to make a sort of composition all right I'm considering to make this scene um, right now with values what, what I mean about values as this is a not very complex design uh, you can go straight to the point you don't need to let's say uh, worry too much about fundamentals but with more you practice better you're gonna be of course um, right now let me just make this a bit dark okay just a bit in gray because right now I want to start to add some lights okay you will see what I mean about this so if I select all these elements that we did so far these guys here and then I apply them in grayscale like this you can start to add just the shadows and light you just need to worry about shadows and light nothing more than that so let's suppose that you want to add shadows here let's start in this area we're gonna duplicate this and make this a bit dark but that's case I'm gonna remove the outline here we go nice so I want to add light I will just make this a bit lighter well, the few a bit lighter just like that okay right now remember about the sketch that I had it's above or below I need to check let me find ah, it's here the concept art you can you know tag a color because let's say the red is gonna be look how easy it is to find later the red color is means that it is the sketch okay you can tag your things by using this technique if you want one technique that is nice as well it is that you can tag your layers let's say ah, I want to tag the light the light is gonna be yellow and the shadows all the shadows that I did can be let's say purple this is just you know uh, a fancy way to organize yourself uh, let's see hello Angela my great friend how are you doing <laughs> so glad to have you here so I'll duplicate uh, I can add look my friend I'm, I'm just duplicating oh, duplicate duplicate and change I'm gonna use my hands I'm considering to <laughs> make it with your hands uh, look I will just adjust here that's fine there you go oh, I will as I need precision <laughs> I need to use the pencil a little bit because my my finger is a bit fat and cannot read so well no worries here we go <clears throat> oh there is a depth here then I will I'll make this you can see it is flat you can stick with flat if you want or you can make it rounded if you want to make it rounded it's easy corner tool select the node and then boom oh, you can make this okay easy so far easy oh, like this a corner then duplicate and resize and bring this inside why why am I doing this because I want to create what the shadows oh, like this it's fine okay I'll duplicate and make it a bit dark I'll duplicate I know that for most of you doing directly the values can be very hard you know because you need to imagine how this will perform you know by your head basically and then here uh, I can start the highlights later with the pencil tool okay I will leave at least the highlights with the pencil tool at this moment I'm just inserting the shadow I focus only the shadow right so it's gonna be easier for you I don't want to make things complicated so I'm duplicating and making a darker version okay with the fill tool basically this is what I'm doing right now 
let's see here uh, I'll duplicate bring this onto here and bring it inside basically you can see how it's repeatable right you just follow the techniques here and then you can even insert a line inside all right but as I'm focusing only on the shadows oh, this is what I'm doing so far I'll duplicate this the size make this a bit dark make this inside okay so far so good I'll make this with I will just let me turn off the sketch because I don't want to bother my eyes now uh, oh look this area is here it is almost finished right basically after we color things will become so far easier you will be speechless about this I'm sure about that oh. this guy here I'll make this a bit brighter so far so good yeah perfect oh, I can change here it's fine this area is becoming nice Hello, Root Hoot Red. How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> it's never too late, my friend, because here I just use the basic tools, all right? Of course, you can watch this later, right? But remember that if you are not in the club, I suggest you to always stay here. Always stay here, because I usually remove the lessons after a week or two weeks. It depends. And here I go and bring this below. Oh, there is now a frame all right I can move this frame I'll be a bit faster right guys because I also like all of it all of these uh, guys here I can make like that okay one of it I can let's see you can duplicate all of it you can duplicate oh look at this duplicate from here you see I'll duplicate after that you're gonna select here this icon all right pay attention my friend <laughs> pay attention here in this icon uh, this guy here let me see oh. just a sec this one all right this one this little guy here it's our selector right make this a bit brighter a little bit and do this oh oh look my friend tell me tell me right now how much of your time have you saved by doing this oh here we go that's fine a little bit oops i need to go here all right uh don't forget you you need to keep everything selected right i mean just the ones that it is duplicated don't forget about this if you miss you you will not be able to do that oh Okay, I think that I still need to use my gloves. I don't know wh where it is, but here we go. Oh, it's fine. So far, so good. And then, if you want, you can use the layer effects, the uh, other shadow, just to add shadows if you want. Look, you can add a bit of shadow if you want. Oh, woo. But this is a post. You know, uh, processing processing design that I usually do. <laughs> Look at this. And this window here, somehow, as I'm doing the depth from here to there, I'm getting, you know, my my head. I have some, you know, that thing <laughs> that people get crazy when it's off. I do this because <laughs> if I'm seeing this in that way. You know depth and then this is in this way my head going crazy totally crazy uh, the water the oh sorry not water <laughs> the outer the outer shadow the effects you can project a shadow based in this shape here you have this shape and then if you enable this option and drag you can project the shadow based in this shape all right 
so far so, so good isn't it nice hope that you guys are enjoying and learning a lot of course so uh you got here that's fine all the shape you know it's very smooth here nice now let's invest more time in this guy here this little guy okay so this guy i will keep it simple right i'm not going to be crazy on it of course uh it's gonna be easier to add more details as you add more colors if you try to add details at this stage perhaps you're gonna feel like oh am i missing something here okay so you need to be a bit let's say uh confident by trying and see what's gonna happen oh, here i have this line i can add some lines here let me reset and and then I will add some colors to it. Uh, but of course, well, pay attention to this, right? I will group the head first. Oh, the head. Oh, group the head. It's here. Group it. And then uh, consider to select right now. Let me bring this close by to this group because it was so far away. Uh, now it's here. For paint, you need to select the shape that is related to the cat skin. So I'm selecting, okay, the shapes here, oh, the 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 foot here and uh, head, the tails, and then the hands. Oh, look, now I can give it a color on the. Card design by you get art. I will make in black. Nice. Like this. But the black that I'm gonna use is more push it to the purple and blue. So far so good. I will make this a little bit let's see pinky. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you have the recent color so you can save your time. Let's see here again. It's a brown I, as I need to follow at least the art style. I mean, sorry, not art style, but the composition of the feeling of the colors, right? I mean, when you, when you are creating the art, drawing your art style, let me bring here uh, to explain better. When you are creating, my friend, some references, the suit that I'm using, at least uh, you need to keep the composition a little bit, a little bit similar because if you go too different in color composition, all right, you're gonna lose the feeling of you know drawing that thing in your art style. Of course, you can do in, in any color that you want, but at least I want to be more um, aligned to the reference that I'm using as the the drawing art style, basically. So let's get back here. In this will be uh, in brown, well, like, a little bit like this. I can make brown uh, this brown more push it to purple, you know, tones, tonalities. And then, oh, look, we have s the yellow arrows, and then that's why I will do this oh, insert inside, and then yellow. Oh, I make it yellow. Nice, search inside, yellow. Ah, oh, this will be black because it's the upfront area. And this area here, oh, remember, I'm looking at the character design here. I will, I will add the ears. Okay, it's sep oh, it's separated. I I could easily change. But then I will merge. I'll click here on top and add. Now it's in one single layer, which makes easier for me. Let me increase the the brighter. I think it's better now to see. Good. Insert inside and then uh, pick up the it can be white to yellow. Oh, insert inside. Turn it on. And then you can create, let's say, some kind of details. Like this, you know, let's see here. Oh, we have a white, yeah. A white color here, March white. You can add 
this duplicate I need to be a bit faster guys because I don't want to that's it oh my gosh I need to be a bit faster uh, oh there is a light here inside or oh, the fire let's make it in red oh, I will duplicate I will be faster right now and then I'll turn off the outline, make it yellow. This guy here will be more. Look at this, how nice. Opacity decreased uh, to have this result. And then let me try to make the outline in yellow, just to see. I like it. I like it very much. Uh, like this, nice. Here, I'm gonna make it in a bit dark. Now I'm just giving the colors to the guys. Okay. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Ah, I'll show later <laughs> the the results that Ariadna did on Telegram. Of course, I like to share the design that you guys uh, create. Uh, here on um, his tail, look, I'll create this look. I'll make can be ah I really like this composition here. I will be honest with you. This makes let's see copy. Oh sorry. Paste style. I'm pasting this style. Somehow I I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> I make it more white. Yeah. If you want, you can add gradient, but in that case, I'm not gonna add too much gradient at this point. This will be yellow. Oh, with a little bit dark, this one. And then I will start to add some lights here. Oh, look. You see. I'll make it in this way here. Let me see. I will apply the blend mode because it's easier. Oh, I have now this blend mode that's called screen. Okay. I will copy this in everything that I I make. Oh look, I was, I'm selecting this curve. Look at this. I will add here it needs to be applied inside all right inside of the head of the sketch oh where is the head ah here look and then i'm just drawing okay i'm just drawing here here we go i will add more or less to here this area and then I will select all, all of it and then paste the style. Okay, paste the style. I will make it here. I will add some lines that's gonna make it, you know, some line art. You see? Let's add above. And I'll make it in this way here. I'm paying. I'm paying attention to my design, right? That's why I'm a bit quiet on the shot. I'm not paying attention right now. I'm focusing. When I'm getting focusing mode, my friend. Sorry, but yeah, <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, here, let's add some. I think it's true. Is is not. Oh, this is so nice. I'll push this more to here. Pikachu, yeah, 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 exactly. He's a witcher, so I guess. <laughs> uh, I like it. And then let's add some, let's say, some custom effects in this area here. Oh. Hold on a sec, because I'm just selecting the colors using the color picker. And then I can add some details, right? I can add some details here, like, let's try to, uh, yeah. 
then add some lines oh look how it's becoming right now yeah my friend now let's uh, add the color to the background look I have this background cool the background it is oh, see the tonality that you have we have more orangey oh, look <laughs> is there a class that goes over the insert side or the copy style actually more in, in depth my friend um, on the vectorized club you know we have thousands thousands of thousands of lessons I mean more than 200 and 88 so the vectorized club you know I, I usually leave, uh, leave the link at the end of the live stream so I will bring this composition let me see like that and then I will duplicate I will duplicate I will now I'll resize I will make this color a little bit different like this I will duplicate again ah, it's very right here we go oh, I will add the orange right thousand thousand <laughs> <Two hundred. laughs> uh, exactly <laughs> I, I should uh, should say hundreds. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm not very you know fluent. I apologize. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are so fun. Uh, oh, look, I'm just adding some color effects because you see how nice this will be later. Uh, so just pay attention, right? Just pay attention. You see. Oh. And then. I will select these guys and apply the Gaussian blur. Huh? Huh? Can you see? My friend, look at this! <laughs> uh, I will add this guy inside, alright? Or inside of this curve. I don't want to make this, you know, outside. So make sure to bring all of it inside of the rectangle in order to clip. I'll duplicate this one more time. Make it a bit dark. Duplicate it one more time and make it a bit dark. And look, I will bring this here. So basically, if you if you can't understand why that what I did, let me explain. I've just I've just created these rectangles and then I have, I've applied the Gaussian blur and then I'm creating a transition. Instead of using the gradient tool, I'm just adding this doing manually right basically ah I, I was forgetting this I I will add some so, sort of candles right so I will add this soon in order to make this fire effect coming out from well, we have the fire effect you can even you can even uh, group these guys duplicate resize and then bring this guy here above of the um, of lantern uh, here 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 where is thing here uh, uh, now there you go there you go uh, look at this I will just decrease a little bit the can you see ah uh, it's here the fact that I've created at the beginning you know before I will group and then I will apply the the blend mode. The blend mode will create this nice effect. And once you do that, you may think, all right, I have a light here, a source of light, and then all the all the lights from here needs to reach the things that is around of it. What I mean? You have the cat, right? We are gonna uh, get on there. Just wait. I will start to add the colors here. Just wait a sec. Oh, I'm gonna make this 
like that. Uh, you know how easy it is to manage when you are creating vector. It, it is absolutely nice and easy. I will apply the blend mode just like uh, the screen one, like this, just like that. I will make this a bit more brown. I'm, I'm getting a bit faster because you know I don't want to take too not too hard, but too long for you guys. So basically this step is the same when I explain. So if I if I have explained how to make the Gaussian blur, apply the Gaussian blur when I use a Gaussian blur. Okay? Simple like that. Uh <laughs> the way that I explain I feel like you know I don't want to be uh difficult for you. I, I want to be simple. Make simple, right? Life needs to be simple. Other than that, if it's not, you're gonna uh, stress yourself yeah there we go uh, you can even oh look at how nice is this why vector is amazing we have this more let's say uh, with textures right so you can easily do this uh, uh. You, you'll be speechless right now what I'm gonna do my friend I have this shape right I have this one here good I will select I've changed my mind a little bit what I'm gonna do right now I will I will blend this, I mean add and then I will subtract in what is behind. I will subtract here there is a shape but I'll duplicate here, I'll duplicate. And then look at this. I will group these guys, I'll group this guy that is in front, these guys, I will apply there is a is is this one here wait a moment wait a moment what i did so far it is basically i have applied an effect uh blend mode that's called a mode this is mode basically is the vector without destroying the vector all right basically th this is what i did and then look how nice is this of course i have a layer that is uh, behind of it all right i have a layer that's why I will select the layers that I have applied and then I will subtract this two here okay ah, there we go so far so good I'll apply this below look now what we got here it is that we have a shape this is a bit complex shape right it's a bit complex because uh, you can draw behind draw behind look we, you have now what you have done so far you have just erased uh, the shape in the middle. This is what you did so far. Okay? Yeah. Uh, you don't need to make it very complicated because the way that I did here, you know, you don't need to have, let's say, uh, this shape in this situation here. L let me bring this more onto here. Let me show you. Just so, ah, it's going to be important to have because, because of the outline, all right? Just keep as I'm showing you. Because I, I wanted to show you a simplified way, but if I show too much, it's going to be complicated. So, so far so good. This is a nice result. Uh, now, I will do this. I will resize these two guys into here. Uh, look, into here. You see how I create my own design. It is absolute, absolutely fast. That's why I've created the Vectorize, because I want to make your life simple by showing you the techniques that I use. Uh, duplicate now, here, that's fine. Good. This guy here, the shadow, apply in, uh, duplicate and apply inside. Of course. Uh, and then this one inside here to clip. Need to clip. Uh, yeah, it's already clipping. And this one will be here clipping to this position. Yeah, my friend, look at this. And now this guy here, I will group. And then you can do this if you want. Nice. Uh, you can add. My friend, look at this. Hello, Michael Lemon. Welcome, my friend, to the Vector Rise. You are new here? I, I, I mean. <laughs> it's the first time that I saw your name here. I want to thank you so much for staying here. 
I will create the candle because I miss a lot of the candle. Uh, here it can be a little bit uh, just uh, duplicate. I will remove the outline, make it brighter. Ah, it's ready. The secret here, I will tell you this tip. The secret here about creating this style, it is by insert a shape and then after insert a shape, you can change the, the side and make it dark. Ah, look, we have two shapes, the light and, and shadow, simple like that. You don't need no, no more than this, no more than this. In this color, I'll make it uh, green. Fine, so far so good. This one, this guy, blend mode. Make it in blend mode. Blend mode, you multiply, that's fine, good. This guy here, which color? I don't know. I will apply whatever I got here. Blue, it's gonna be, not blue, this blue here, to green. I will apply what? The blend mode. What's gonna happen with blend mode? It's gonna make it dark. Uh, like that. Nice. <laughs> this one. I'm gonna make it in which color? Can be pink, this pinky color. A uh, pinky color, like make it pinky color. <laughs> uh, look, I will apply the pink color here. And then, uh, I'm just selecting the group and applying the color, simple like that. There's no secret at all here, right? So if you're a beginner, you are not a learner, friend. I'm teaching you exactly the way that you should do. <laughs> All right, I have applied what? The color, and then what you're gonna apply? The <laughs> blending mode again. And so far so good, so far so good. You go, and that's it. Uh, I, I'm repeating <laughs> this process, basically. And apply, which color is gonna be this plant here? I don't know. Ah, more to orange. But look, uh, this plant here is more rounded. I want to make that, I wanna make that. How I will do that, I will show you in a very first Second, ah, here, node two, round, round, nice. This one, resize, make it bigger, and then push here, push here, oh, nice. This guy, here, you don't need this anymore, you can delete. And then you can merge these guys here. Look how nice this will be. You can merge, oh, look at, look, look at the reference. This is little, this is bigger, okay? So, getting back on here, make this little and this bigger. Nice. Select, add, it is together. No, you need to make it together to blend, uh, not blend, but to merge. Okay, uh, add, there you go. So far so good, nice. Now you're gonna select and then you can make it rounded and change from here, but the technique that I'm gonna show you is easy so far. Select the nodes and then corner two and do this. Oh look, can you see? You can now can change uh, here. Make this more rounded. Okay. So far, so good. Here and up. That's it. Nice. Ah. Vector is this. Vector when is when you pick up a shape and change in the way that you feel that is nice. Duplicate. Make this inside. Make this a bit dark. And ah, just dark is fine. Let me see if I will apply outline. Ah, I apply the blend mode in this guy here. Oh, oh here it's fine. The sky here, we have a moon, remember? Let's apply a sky. I mean, back here, just say. Oh, how is it become, my friend? Look at his. So far, so good. This sky, um, you can make it like this, it's nice. Oh, in blue, but like this. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ellipse, I'm getting a bit, you know, tired because I explain and then I draw, I make back the pa pa pa, yeah, yeah, I, I just became sometimes a bit tired, but there you go, I'm still here, my friend, don't, oh, don't give up, okay, don't give up, stay with me, make this brighter, and there is the moon, nice, the moon is here, yeah, 
now we have the plant this plant here <laughs> that I have added just for you know, from my mind I will move your tongue uh, okay I have some notifications here I will let me display here uh, welcome welcome my friend vector what hit the like button uh here we go i apply this in yellow guys i, I have created many many things you know using a finish designer so <laughs> thank you Ariadna. ah here's nick said uh what nick said hit the like button my friend yeah guys oh don't worry right i'm just you know getting a bit faster because uh the live you know i usually do the live in one hour okay in one hour so the the goal here is to finish this design today because next week we can start a new lesson i don't want to let's say stay in three in three uh lessons in one month all right this that's why i'm rushing a bit but please if, if this sounds you know a little bit crazy the things that i'm teaching you here uh grab the most essential steps because later you will be able to learn much more as well on the Vectorize Club. Because here it is just the, the, the iceberg, the, the point of the iceberg. And of course, the club you are going to learn much more. Let's stay here. I will add there. That's fine. Okay. Now I will, I will change these colors here. But this color, look how nice it's going to be. I have this transition, right? Look, I can apply the blend mode. In that case, the this one to this one. Look, the transition. All right. You need to at least follow the lines, just like that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Here I'm gonna add. I don't know, but I want to make something nice here. I'm gonna add. You see. Oh, I'm gonna add. I will copy this cat. I will paste. I will resize. Uh, if you resize, you get this result because you need to enable the. You need to select, all right? Or uh, you need to uh, select on the stroke panel. You have the scale object, okay? But make sure to to check if the scale object is turn it on because sometimes uh, some layers will not get oh now it's working okay but uh, look pay attention I, I'm resizing this and once I resize some layer is not applying the stroke that's why you need to see check and then uh, I got the ones that hasn't applied applied the the script with object you need to select all of it right now oh, that is inside okay and then apply the scale object that's it after that you just need to oh, let me check this if it's with scale object oh it's scale object so far so good now resize resize the guy here and then working nice now we have he, uh, he, uh, him here but I'm gonna add something a little bit different let's make it just something like <laughs> we're gonna make something crazy here whoa flip I'm gonna flip I'm gonna change this mouth shape perhaps the we can add the hair. Let's add the hair, <laughs> perhaps. Or ah, I think that's gonna be nice if we apply. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh, I will copy this. Oh wait. I'm just being crazy here. This is the the nice thing. Paste style. Oops. Yeah, on here in this shape. Paste style. And then I'll change a little bit. 
it is his oh, I'll make this onto here but here I need to cover at least the the first you know what is happening here my friend I don't know I'm just drawing a shit <laughs> ah it's perfect I like it I love it oh look <laughs> there is a frame on there but I will resize a bit you know like here nice <laughs> I'll change this color perhaps to eee. Uh let's see what's gonna do here. Ah the ground. Let's add something on the ground. Can be like this. Ah we haven't finished yet, right? We need to add some lights effect here. Oh there is this guy here. Add I like this one. Oh sort of ground in below um, I was thinking to add the at least this shape here because I'm feeling like hey the thing that is missing his hand somehow yeah I'm gonna make it fast same color skin color nice now it's time to apply the uh, the one that I'm gonna apply here, it is the. <laughs> uh, let's see, the light that is coming from here. Oh, oh my gosh! I forgot entirely. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I ha I have T D A uh, T E D A D T D A D. It is T D A D, but I get distracted easily. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna group this. I group it and I apply paste. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I need to paste the fire, not the. Ah, here. I need to copy. And then I'm gonna save your time, alright? Let's save your time, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy that this is coming a nice result. Uh, some fires here. And yeah, this guy here, I'm gonna make it. Oh. Nice. Let me hide here this design for now. Background as well. Now I will polish this a little bit more. I ah, can you do a carpet. Yeah, my friend, I'll just duplicate, duplicate. And oh look, uh, duplicate the carpet will be let's see can be red, resize it, and then you can duplicate and resize and change this color here, ah like this ah there's a carpet now, <laughs> so far so good. Uh, T D eight eight. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. It's in Portuguese. T D A eight I D. Oh my gosh, in English is so hard. To, I I completely, you know, just uh, I don't know the uh, word orders. <laughs> I forgot. So guys, look at this. Right now, I'm gonna use the Master Vector brushes, the Joe Master Vector brushes. All right? It's time to use this guy here. Gonna be very easy and quick because. It's simple. How you can use this? I will, I will show you. If you want to download, join the club. You're going to get a discount and you can download on my group. Look at this. I'm going to use the John Smart because it is, it has uh, this corner here, right? There is a, a smart way to create these results here. I will activate brush default and then I will make this in yellow because of the light here and look at this i will start just to add insert inside vector brush and then look i will add here one two three oh okay nice here as well i will add on his 
area here. Oh, look here as well. Look how nice it's gonna be. This one. Add inside of the shape. Oops. I went a little bit in this area below of the and here here you can apply let me see here how this will work if I ah nice perfect perfect my friend look at this this is so nice I make this a bit dark so far so good uh, make this the Pikachu cat <laughs> uh, this one I will apply as well the same effects from here I almost finished okay not too vibrant but more push it to the yellow nice yeah ah here as well huh. And then I'm forgetting about the ah this carpet is is dragging my attention. Let me bring it into here. Ah, better here is better. Uh, as I have the the lights coming from here, and then I need to do this. Pay attention. Um, I need to duplicate and apply the color overlay and make this behind. I think this is for me one of the best way instead of using the I'm not using in this purpose the outline shadow okay uh, because of this some situation that you cannot change the the shape all right you cannot distort instead if you use the way that I'm showing you right now you can at least distort the image you can start okay this is the the deal and then I will decrease this opacity you can make it even bigger oh my friend this is the vectorize that's why I'm showing you right now how you can make this nice and I'm making very big why a uh, place a light nearby of your subject you're gonna see the result I look I will apply the blend mode just to see what's gonna happen I don't know what's gonna happen but let's see call overlay and then apply from here oops it needs to, <laughs> to be the I, I'll raster this right now cuz it's gonna be better to ah this way it's, it's fine it's completely fine let's leave it like this I don't want to make it complicated uh, yes all the shadow it is raster all right is raster based um, if you do that is not vector but you can edit at least these guys here all right this all of these ones I will do the same I will group you can apply the outer shadow this one as it's simple you can do that right you, as you don't need to disturb it's fine but you remember that you can change here the shadows and add the shadows just like that okay simple like this ah uh, this the little spider oh my gosh I forgot complete about this guy so I will search inside here and then apply the the vector brush join smart there we go on uh, here add a light on here I'll make it looking below oh nice of course I could improve this so hard I mean make it very nice but I don't want to make you know the strings uh, too long for the future let's say members you know but yeah we are keeping this quite uh, in a nice time I mean I search inside there you go oh nice I like it I like it this one I will blend a bit more because I feel like it is too solid and I will do something that you you find like very nice my friend I will duplicate this duplicate it that's fine I will apply a uh, inner glow but I will apply in the middle of it like this and then I will change the blend mode and see here the results coming alive 
that case I would change uh, let's see intensity strong intensity uh, I'm changing now the composition to yellow a little hard to mix for now a quick shading and then I uh, will start to add some transparency here uh, transparency in this area a transparency at this blend here I'm just checking I want that can fit better uh, reflect reflect nice I like it more and then I'll apply the transparency in all of in all of this fill fill and then opacity okay and then you can make like this select uh, what the shape is here oh. there you go So like this layer here, there you go. yeah, make this a bit dark. That's fine. That's it, my friend. Look at this. I've just finished this. Uh, you know, using a lot of you know of techniques. Of course, it was not very easy for me. I mean, explaining each step. It take huge, huge mental, you know, energy. <laughs> I was very excited at the beginning, and then I'm like, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the transparency is very cool, all right, because of course you can manage to to add more opacity over the elements and blend in, blend the elements even, you know, m much better. Uh, making some adjustments here on the moon. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, questions, questions, questions. So of course, uh, if it's just me, I would probably you know make more things. Oh my gosh, the the web here. I, I need. Oh my gosh, I forgot the web. <laughs> uh, I need to change this color of this web. It's too dark. Uh, you see what I'm gonna do right now. Let me, let me delete this guy here for now. Oh, the web. Remember, it is line, but I'm gonna make in white. Pay attention, pay attention. I make this small, just like this. A very small, very small, very small. Something like zero dot one. Yes, ah, zero dot two. Zero dot two. Zero dot two. Yes, and then you can duplicate. Oh, look, duplicate and resize. My friend, <laughs> look at. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I the one thing that I know in my life is save time when I'm doing vector. I just I just duplicate what I did and then I paste in another area. That's it. This is how I save my time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me just group this. The the thing is also you can move it a little bit more up. Uh, there you go. The cat. You can apply as well. Let me just apply some adjustments over all of these layers before I wrap up this string. Uh, just a second. I'm just organizing here all the all of these layers. Many of them. I will bring all of it, all of it, and group it here inside of this rectangle. Nice. After that, I got this result. It's all grouped, nice. And then I'll make this corner um, rounded. I make it rounded. Yeah. I mean, it's just where curves. Make this rounded. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> I will apply some effects 
okay what I mean about facts uh, adjustments here right you can manage to control the the curves where is the curves I hear my brain is, tr is starting to crash a little bit so pay attention to this point here I have the the thing here right the the design I'll make it just like that and here is the curve the curve ah uh, let's see here uh, let me see what's happened here I mean, I mean reading the shot yeah yeah exactly the way that I try to use things here uh, is basically it's just methods you know is methods and it's fast uh, I will just improve this quality just change the curve finding a good balance to it oh. here is fine oh look this is the the curve that I found and I'll show the version before and now before and now I've just increased Ma, uh, more the life here. Oh, look. Uh, let's see here adjustments. Color balance. Let's see color balance. Color balance. You have three tonalities: the mid tones, highlights, and the shadows. So once you change here, it's gonna change all the composition. So it's nice to use these effects because you're gonna make it more look like a night. Okay. That's why you can consider to explore, but you need to be very careful with it because you can, let's say, ruin your design or can make it nice. But that's case I'm making with more blue color, pushing the shadows to more blue. You can make the shadows more, you will control the, the colors basically. Okay, I'm gonna just adjust here the highlights I'm gonna make it or well, not too vibrant I don't want to you know to expose too much the information here so be careful be careful uh, uh. let me reduce a little bit the opacity just to not yeah like this it's fine my friend, that's it. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, my back is hurting so much. Oh my friend, <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, guys, that's it. Uh, thank you, Rajajina. Guys, uh, look, Hutrad, you can you can send your designs to direct to me on Telegram, right? Uh, where is Telegram? Telegram is here. Just hold on a sec. Here on Telegram, you can send a message direct to me, all right? Or what? what uh, you can email me, <laughs> but I think Telegram will be better. Uh, next lesson is already um, the topic. Let me bring here my camera. My friend, the next lesson I'm I'm still preparing, but it's gonna be about houses. All right, it's gonna be about houses. Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's called marvelous houses. How to create marvelous houses? I have all the concept in my mind, and then I wanna show you a very nice way to to come up with solutions. This lesson that I'm gonna bring is gonna be more rectangles right <laughs> trust me <laughs> vectorize here rectangles all the time ah okay so if you have any problem you guys can send me a message right on the club I mean email me if you have any problem just contact me as soon as possible so um, but the next week it's already set up Hey Alcatraz, thank you for your suggestion. And I will consider to make a game character. Since the I think in past month I did the the game character from the um, the li little death if you remember. I don't know if you remember. But yeah, I will consider to bring game characters. Okay. 
the marvelous houses is gonna come in the next week okay and this this month has been crazy for me because I'm preparing a lot of things you know and yeah I'm trying my best to, to bring everything that you guys uh, you know want to see and learn of course guys uh, yeah that's it I'm a bit tired to confess that you know it takes huge energy to explain every step and do it at the same time at the beginning the first very first lesson on my live streaming I was <laughs> very scared to share and talk in English but you guys make me feel very confident and I'm you know feeling always uh, you know much more comfortable in front of the camera because of you because the way that, that you guys give me this strength you guys you are responsible for making me more strong not by muscle <laughs> right not by muscle because muscle you you only get by doing gin just training your muscle but in my case here my friend <laughs> train your vector vectorized muscle vectorized muscle is exactly the way I show you it is when you grab this essentials what is the the most essential thing uh, let me show you the the most essential are uh, here the most essential is oh my gosh wait let me drink a water essential i'm getting struggling here mm. the most essential stages for the vectorize to make you art much better it is focus on the concept Focus on creating a concept, a good concept, planning the idea. All right, you never, you never going to build a house without knowing where you're gonna place the the kitchen, the room. You never, you're not going to tell to the engineer, hey, I didn't like this. I need to destroy this again and rebuild. You're gonna lose time, money, and everything else. That's why I'm here to show you the shortcut, the shortcut to make the vector process easy straight to the point drag to the result uh, struggle less don't struggle at all and that's it okay my friend see you the next week and bye bye let me close here <laughs> i think I, I i've said so much here oh where is it here long <laughs> vector is most <laughs> guys see you bye bye take care ah jd club let me place the link here i forgot how to place the link where is the chat? Here. Oh, let's try this. See you. Bye bye.